Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Kitty Cat Soul Food is a place for you to better understand and strengthen your connection to cats and kittens. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the three stages of cat labor. Firstly though, I do have a quick disclaimer. This video is intended for educational purposes only. I realized that in my video, the 10 symptoms of cat labor, which I'll post here, I had a huge response from you guys that have pregnant cats or cats that are about to be in labor and you're just not exactly sure what to look out for, what to expect. And so I thought this video could go more in depth of visually really what the three stages look like. And hopefully by the end of this video, you can better understand what to look for when your cat's in labor and just honestly know what a healthy delivery looks like because you need to honestly understand when you have a cat in labor that there are some things that could go wrong. And so watching this video will help educate you to make better decisions as to whether your cat may require medical attention or you might have to rush her to the hospital in certain scenarios. So I really hope you find this video helpful and let's get started. Who is the prettiest in all the land? You are. Who is the prettiest in all the land? You are. Please note that all of the symptoms seen in the stage were seen 33 hours before the birth of kittens. Timing will vary with each cat, but this is just to give you an idea. The first stage of cat labor can often pass unnoticed. However, most of the time it can be identified by the following behavioral changes in your queen. Restlessness, over grooming, pacing, panting, and in some cases, vomiting. During this time, the cervix dilates and the uterus starts contracting. This stage, there is no visible contractions, though you may start to see clear or brownish mucus vaginal discharge. At the end of the stage, the queen can be seen scratching around and settling in their birthing spot as they prepare to deliver the kittens. The second stage of cat labor is the most exciting and anxious of all. This is the stage when all of the kittens are delivered. Strong uterine contractions help deliver each kitten from its uterine horn into the uterine body and through the cervix and vagina. At this point, it should become extremely visible to the eye. You may even hear grunting or meowing sounds from your queen, though some queens can be completely silent. This stage can last anywhere from 2 hours to 24 to 36 hours. In this particular labor, Luna delivered three kittens within two and a half hours. The delivery between each kitten can be instant or, from my experience, 30 minutes to six hours apart each. The last stage of cat labor is actually in combination with stage two and it is the delivery of the kitten's placentas. There should be one placenta delivered for each kitten and the mother should begin to bite the cord to detach each kitten from their placenta. It's completely normal if your queen wants to eat the placentas, however, in the event of a large litter, I usually don't let the queen eat them all as it can cause diarrhea. If a kitten is delivered without a placenta and the mother does not deliver it within 24 hours, then I would seek out medical attention from your vet or an emergency hospital. And those are the three stages of cat labor. Now, I have 1,000 subscribers, which is like beyond crazy to me. I never even thought that I would grow this fast and maybe it's not even that fast, but to me it feels fast. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my content because honestly the purpose of my content was just to help people that are maybe going through the same things that I went through at one point and had no idea about. And I just felt like there wasn't enough resources out there to help people understand cat pregnancy, cat labor, all these things that still happen today and people very much need to be educated about if ever they have to deal with this situation. So to thank you all for watching my videos and just being there and supporting me, I wanna give away four Amazon gift cards that are gonna be around $50 each Canadian. So I think that's the only currency I can actually send the gift cards in because I am Canadian. And they will be e-gift cards, so I'll be able to send it to your email, I believe. So how to enter. So in order to enter into the contest, all you have to do is leave a comment down below telling me about your favorite story or memory of your cat. And I'm gonna be selecting the winner in my next video through random.org. So I'm not gonna choose the best story because I feel like everybody has a good story about their cat and it's subjective anyway. So I feel like it wouldn't be right for me to just choose the best one. So it's gonna be randomly selected and so that way each and every one of you have an equal chance of winning. And in my next video, I will reveal the winners and the way that you can contact me to claim your prize. So definitely enter if you're interested. 
And once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly cat videos. And until next time, stay positive. Bye. This is my little princess, Mika. Hi, Mika. And she's going to her new home next weekend. And I am so sad. I love her so much. But it's okay because she has two cute little girls that are looking forward to having her. And so say goodbye, Mika. Say goodbye. It's been nice knowing you all. Yeah. Mika was one of the kittens that was in my uh, one week old kitten and four week old kitten videos. <laughs> And now she is almost 10 weeks old, aren't you? And she has eyes like the ocean, like honestly, oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful.